kids today have an almost scary ability to understand and use technology. Tweeting, texting, blogging, Skyping, gaming. Whenever they have a chance, they're riding the leading edge of 21st century technology. But what does it feel like to most of these kids when they get to school? The 19th century. There was a report done where a student is quoted as saying, when I go to school, I have to power down. School, especially in middle school, was always a prison. It was boring. The students that we're teaching today are digital natives. They have never not had the internet. Computers have always fit in their backpacks. Cell phones have always existed in the, in the time span of these children's lives. So to expect that we would continue to do school the same way that we've done school for the last 100, 150 years doesn't seem as though it is very relevant to the, to the person who we're trying to serve. So what does it take to reach these digital natives, to engage them, to create a learning environment that reflects the world they live in and the one they'll work in? And most importantly, give them the 21st century skills that will put America at the head of the class in math and science. The answers to these questions can be found right here in Texas, where a handful of schools are among the nation's leaders in digital learning. We talked to educators at seven school districts, large and small, urban and rural. They all had one thing in common, a commitment to power on their school districts, and the results have often been electrifying. It has transformed the classrooms in the way that teachers teach and the students learn. Number one, students were more engaged, they became more independent in their learning, and over time we saw increases in math scores and other areas. Obviously the, the first thing you see is our tax scores. You know, uh, our kids are, are achieving. We've seen a big increase in our commendable performance on the tax test. Students who have never passed the state assessment or were always, you might say, in the wrong place at the wrong time, they're coming to school they're engaged, they're passing the state assessment, they're passing their classes. They spend more time, they want to be in there during lunch, during afternoons, they want to come in during other periods when they're not doing anything. When they're extending their own learning and expanding on their own learning, to me that's success and you will reflect it in your tax scores. But improved tax scores are just one benefit of technology integration. Perhaps even more significant is the way technology transforms the classroom and empowers students. The most transformative thing that I've seen with the technology, with project-based learning, all of it, is just simply the way that it empowers the students, the, the responsibility that they take for, for learning. No longer is the student uh, just this recipient of information um, and the teacher just the dispenser of information, but now the student is is someone who has the ability to construct and create information. It's making the students strive for more and more excellence. You want to do projects and you get more active in your projects and you want to make it the best it can be. It pushes you, it makes you want to work harder because you know that you have the opportunity to make something great. And what does it do for teachers? It was like taking the cover off of a book. We were no longer bound by that, that perimeter anymore. Uh, the creativity that I felt in my classroom could finally kind of find itself. The interactive whiteboard, the assessment tool, the software and the laptop allowed me to do the things I had always envisioned as a teacher in my classroom. And when you had struggling and gifted learners in your room and every learner was running to get into the classroom every day, uh, my attendance was up and my discipline was down. And what greater gift to have as a teacher than, than to have those two things come together. I cannot imagine teaching without all this. A classroom teacher that's been teaching longer than I have uh, stood up in front of the board members and said, it's like starting all over. I'm excited to go to work. I love what I do, and the children are excited to come to my class. You can't ask for anything better than that. Quite honestly, I have to tell you, every day that I walk into a classroom and see the magic that teachers are creating with technology and see the, the power of the products that students are creating, you just know we're on the right path and, and we're gonna continue to get there. Rather than asking them to power down and to shut off, we're finally, finally meeting students where they are. So how are they doing it? How are these districts engaging students with technology, raising academic performance, and increasing the satisfaction and rewards of teaching? If you got into the profession to truly reach students, to truly make a difference, to truly affect the future, then give them skills that they're going to need to succeed in the world that's coming. You know, don't get them prepared for the 20th century. That's over and done with. Get them ready for tomorrow. 
To learn how you can get your students ready for tomorrow, go to PowerOnTexas.com and join the digital learning revolution.